What is going on everybody? Today I will be previewing the 2024 college football schedule for Arizona State. I will go through every game on their schedule and I will predict which games on the schedule I think they will win and I will also predict which games on the schedule I think they will lose. But as always before we preview their schedule let me remind you guys to like the video and also subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so you never miss an upload. And if you guys love college football then you will love this channel because we upload a ton of college football content. And we basically cover everything on this channel, so definitely consider subscribing. And also consider joining my Discord server down in the description below. But anyways, without further ado, let's get into the video. Last season, Arizona State finished with a 3-9 record. It was Kenny Dillingham's first season at Arizona State, and Kenny Dillingham had a very difficult task on his hands trying to rebuild this Arizona State team. This offseason, they had 23 players transfer out, and more recently, they had their future star at quarterback Jaden Rashada transfer out. And they also lost their number one receiver, Elijah Badger, to the transfer portal. But despite the struggles this Arizona State team has had with injuries and top stars transferring out, Kenny Dillingham is putting in work to try to set the future for this Arizona State team. They do have the third best transfer portal class in the Big 12 Conference. And they have a young quarterback with a lot of potential who is Sam Levitt and he transferred over from Michigan State. Arizona State is going to have a bunch of new faces next season. And they really did have a complete roster overhaul. But Kenny Dillingham is a young coach and he still has a lot to learn. He has the 9th best 2024 recruiting class in the Big 12 Conference. And right now he also has the 5th best recruiting class in the Big 12 2025 recruiting cycle. And that class is led by 4-star receiver Adrian Wilson. And I don't expect a big step up from Arizona State next season. But I definitely see a path for Arizona State to be a pretty solid team within the next 5 years. And I am excited to see what Kenny Dillingham can do for this team going forward. But anyways, let's get into predicting their schedule. And they open the season playing at home against Wyoming. Now luckily, Arizona State will have this game at home because playing on the road against Wyoming is never fun. But this should still be a decent test for Arizona State to start the season. Wyoming is usually a solid team, but their head coach has retired and Wyoming will have to replace some production going forward. And I definitely think Arizona State should win this game, so I do have Arizona State move it to 1-0 on the season. The next game for Arizona State is at home against Mississippi State. Mississippi State is also a team in rebuild mode with new head coach Jeff Levy. They only have three starters back from last season, but they do have some solid transfers coming in, and I think Mississippi State is still going to be a better team than Arizona State. And Mississippi State actually beat Arizona last season, and I think Mississippi State did a solid job rebuilding the offense in the transfer portal with new additions like Blake Shapin, Rashad Amos, and Kevin Coleman. I don't expect Mississippi State to be great, but they should be better than Arizona State, and I do have Arizona State actually losing this game and move it to 1-1 on the season. The next game for Arizona State is on the road against Texas State. Texas State is a sleeper team to win the Sun Belt Conference in 2024. They have the number one transfer portal class in the conference, and Jordan McLeod from James Madison transferred to Texas State, and he is one of the best group of five quarterbacks in the country. The defense is a concern, but they have potential to improve, and the offense is going to be very explosive. And I could see this game going either way, but I do think Arizona State should be able to win this game because the defense for Texas State was atrocious last season, and Texas State is also a group of five team, so I do have Arizona State winning this game and move it to 2-1 on the season. The next game for Arizona State is on the road against Texas Tech, and I think Texas Tech has a very bright future in the Big 12 with head coach Joey McGuire. They have the number one Big 12 recruiting class of 2024, and that class is led by a stud five-star receiver in Micah Hudson. But not only has Texas Tech done a great job recruiting, but they have done a solid job in the transfer portal, and they actually brought in wide receiver Josh Kelly from Washington State. They have so much potential on the offensive side, with new additions like Micah Hudson and Josh Kelly, who are both very talented receivers. But that's not it, because they returned one of the best running backs in the country in Tosh Brooks. And I know they still have some question marks, and they had to reload on the offensive line and other important positions on the defensive side, but they have a rising star at quarterback, and I think Texas Tech is definitely trending up. And Arizona State should definitely lose this game on the road, so I do have Arizona State move it to 2-2 two two on the season. Following their game against Texas Tech, Arizona State will have a bye week, and then they play at home against Kansas. Kansas has a coach that could very well find a more prestigious job anytime he wants to. But he has stayed loyal to this Kansas team and he has helped lead them to success. And next season they may just be a sleeper team to win the Big 12 championship with offensive playmakers like Devin Neal. And they're returning Jalen Daniels who is one of the best quarterbacks in the Big 12 conference. And all we need from this team is more consistency from the defense and this is a Big 12 championship caliber team. 
But having Jalen Daniels back at quarterback is huge. And Arizona State should be outmatched in this game. So I do have Arizona State losing this game and move it to 2-3 and three on the season. The next game for Arizona State is at home against Utah. Similar to what I just said about that Kansas game, Arizona State should be completely outmatched in this game against Utah. And Arizona State actually lost to a Utah team without Cam Rising 55-3 last season. And now Utah brings back a lot of production including Cam Rising at quarterback. And they bring in some other targets on the offensive side like Dorian Singer and Tayshawn Lyons. And the Utes are also going to be a dominant team on the defensive side like they usually are. So Arizona State should definitely lose this game as well. And I have Arizona State move it to 2-4 and four on the season. The next game for Arizona State is on the road against Cincinnati. Cincinnati has some concerns and a bunch of new faces just like this Arizona State team does. But I really like the pickup of Brendan Soresby at quarterback for Cincinnati. And Cincinnati will have this game at home. And I could see this game going either way. But I think Cincinnati does have a small talent advantage in this game. And I do have Arizona State lose in this game and move it to 2-5 and five on the season. Following their game against Cincinnati, Arizona State will have a bye week. And then they play on the road against Oklahoma State. And Arizona State actually played Oklahoma State last season. And Oklahoma State won that game by double digits. And I don't get why oddmakers have their win total only at 7.5. Let's not forget Oklahoma State just made the Big 12 championship game last season. And they are top 5 in the country for return in production. They have the best running back in the country, Ollie Gordon. And people should not be underestimating this Oklahoma State team. And Arizona State will definitely lose this game on the road. And I have Arizona State move it to 2-6 and six on the season. The next game for Arizona State is at home against UCF. Similar to Texas Tech, I think UCF has a very solid head coach. And they are both recruiting at a high level in the Big 12 Conference. UCF won 7 games last season. And they have done a great job in the transfer portal. And they added KJ Jefferson at quarterback. Who may be flying under a lot of people's radars. Because he should really be a great fit for this UCF team at quarterback. And realistically UCF should win this game. And they are the better team. But upsets and chaos is destined to happen next season in the Big 12 Conference. And I'm actually going to go with Arizona State to pull off the upset and win this game. Because they do have this game at home. So I have Arizona State move it to 3-6 and six on the season. The next game for Arizona State is on the road against Kansas State. And Kansas State is definitely a top contender to win the Big 12 championship next season. They return 80% of production on defense. And they have a high upside quarterback going forward with Avery Johnson. Kansas State has been a consistently good team recently. And they won the Big 12 championship actually in 2022. But now Texas and Oklahoma are both gone. And Kansas State may just be that new top dog in the Big 12. And Arizona State should definitely be outmatched in this game. And I really like this Kansas State team, so I definitely have Arizona State move it to 3-7 and seven on the season. The next game for Arizona State is at home against BYU. And this game is probably a 50-50 game to me. BYU isn't that great of a team, and they actually only went 5-7 and seven last season. They also rank last in the Big 12 for transfer portal rankings, and they just don't have a lot of positives going forward. And I think Arizona State is going to win this game at home. So I have Arizona State move it to 4-7 and seven on the season. And the final game of the season for Arizona State is on the road against their in-state rival Arizona. And I know Arizona lost their head coach and a bunch of talent to the transfer portal. But I did just talk about this Arizona team yesterday and I am pretty high on this team. They returned their top stars on the team like Fafita and McMillan on the offensive side. And they also returned Jacob Manu on defense. Arizona should still be a very good team even if they take a bit of a step down. Arizona will have this game at home and Arizona State should definitely lose this game just like they did last year because Arizona is the much better team. So I have Arizona State finishing the season with a 2-7 and seven conference record and a 4-8 and eight overall record. And I don't expect a huge step up from Arizona State in 2024 because they really do have a difficult schedule and they still have a lot of things to figure out. And I wouldn't be surprised if Arizona State did pull off an upset or two. But regardless, Arizona State is still in rebuild mode with head coach Kenny Dillingham. But anyways, you guys let me know how many games you think Arizona State will win in 2024 down in the comments below. But that is going to do it for today's video. Let me remind you guys to like the video and also subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so you never miss an upload. And if you guys love college football, then you'll love this channel because we upload a ton of college football content and we basically cover everything on this channel. So definitely consider subscribing and also consider joining my Discord server down in the description below. But that is going to do it guys and peace out.